Hey everyone, welcome to my channel again. This is the second part of DBT tutorial. So in this video, we'll be setting up the first DBT project. So we'll learn like how to uh, set up DBT project. Okay, so let's get started. So few things you have to take care of when you're working with DBT. So first we'll install Python and then we'll go to install our favorite id so i'm just opting for pycharm here because i like pycharm but you can have any id that you want that you are comfortable with then we'll install snowflake so as you know that dbt is just a transformation tool it needs some databases or warehouses to work with so we are just choosing snowflake because it has a very good trial period of 30 days and you don't have to set up any database on your local machine so we'll go with snowflake then we'll for then see like how to set up the first dbt project so let's get on it so for downloading python you have to make sure that you are at least using python 3.8 because before that the current dbt uh, project doesn't support less than 3.8 version okay for pycharm so uh, you have to go to pycharm download you have to download the pycharm community edition because it's a free source free uh, built on open source and you can use this for infinite time okay now the fun part now uh, like let's let's sign up snowflake so all you have to do is no flick sign up you get on this page so you just fill the form then it will send you an activation link you just activate it and you'll get your uh, account so if you see that this provide 30 day trial that you can use okay so this is the home page of snowflake so first um, because we'll be working with dbt so we need a database that you want to work with so few things you have to do is you have to create a new worksheet so worksheet is nothing but it's a, it's helps you to write commands okay so you can write different worksheets like sql command python uh, command so i'll go with sql because i want to create some databases for you let's let's go get on it okay so let's create our database first so we'll do like create database dbd tutorial you just run it your database created so what we're gonna do is like we have to give some privilege to account admin for this particular database that's what we're gonna do so you just have to give this command so grant all privileges on this particular database okay this is a tutorial so i'll give tutorial to role account admin what is this account admin so once you log in if you click here you will see like it has different roles that you can use so for just for our tutorial purpose we are using the same user id and password and we are making ourselves as account admin this is not a best practice but for tutorial purpose we are just doing this because we don't want to go into like very much details on how to create a user how to give like restricted permission to that particular user right so we are just going with this once you do that all you have to do is you have to just give like you can use that particular okay did i run this no okay let me run this then you use database you'll see so as soon as you create the database and uh, there is some issue with the snowflake it doesn't show up until and unless you refresh the page so you refresh it you get particular db so currently it it creates some few schemas but we'll see like how we create our own schema okay so this is all you need for the setup part what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna provide all the scripts there in the description box that you can use okay now um, before we move into like downloading dbt few things you have to note it note it up because while setting in the dbt you would want all these details let me show you the details you need first the database so basically we have already created a dbt tutorial so you have you got that uh, database here the password password that you use to log into your particular uh, account and the role is account admin because if you just click here this this is the role that we want to use okay and schema so 
first let's go with public schema which we created in the like which was got created by uh, snowflake we'll be starting with this particular schema and we'll build on top of it threads you can just note down like threads will be using like 10 thread this is uh, related to dbt type is equal to snowflake user is whatever user you have used to um, log into your account right that you're gonna get it from here so if you just go back if you just click here you'll get like what username you have used to log into your account okay and another one is uh, warehouse okay let me show you what is this warehouse this warehouse is nothing but just thus say uh, database instance you can think about or the instance that you use to transform your data okay let me show you how, how we'll get that you go to admin you'll go to warehouses you'll get that particular name here so currently it's suspended okay perfect one more thing you'd like to have is the account that you're gonna have it you, all you have to do is go to admin you go to accounts you'll get like the this is the account for you you just do like manage urls so this is the current URL. Like you can think about this is a host name for uh, Snowflake. All you have to do, is you have to copy this first part, right? From JC something. So you just get this detail. So we'll be needing these details while we set up our DBT. This is all you need in Snowflake for now. So you don't have to know Snowflake. I'll be talking about everything that you need to work with dbt okay so we are done with snowflake now now let's install dbt doc let's download dbt now but in this uh, playlist what i'd like to show you like how to go through dbt docs to find out different details because see all this tutorial that you will find anywhere right that will not give you the whole picture but i have learned this very hard way that you should know like how to traverse through dbt docs for different software or tools so that you understand how to find out your information and uh, if you if you stuck somewhere you should know like how to debug it because in tutorials you won't get like all the details but in docs you should know like how to get on those details right so first let's search like dbt docs so this is the first link that you want to use so first let's set up dbt okay so if you see that in setup dbt you'll get like different setup dbt cloud is the paid version that you want to use for dbt that's they have their own features but we'll go with dbt code that's the open source version that you, we are teaching in this particular playlist so you go to dbt core install dbt core and if you see that dbt core you can install in different ways so we'll use peep to install it okay so let's get on it so what you want to do is like you you create any particular um, folder okay so first we're gonna do is like first we're gonna create a virtual environment okay so once your python are installed let's verify like where what type of version i i am using so i am using 3.10 so you can use the latest version first let's create a virtual environment so python m vnv vnv so once your virtual environment is created you just activate it so you have activated your virtual environment so in linux or mac i think you have to use source command to activate your virtual environment but yeah that's something you need to take care of okay so now uh, from dbt i want to connect to snowflake okay so let's get on a doc a dbt doc let's find out like how we can do that so documentation now you want to connect to a data platform you go here and if you see that you can connect to any data platform defined here so i'll connect to snowflake you have to install this dbt snowflake adapter okay so this is coming from pypy package that you want to use to install so once you install this dbt snowflake internally it installed the dbt core and it installs a snowflake adapter so adapter is something that dbt used to co connect to different data platform okay so let's install this so you go here you go to command prompt you do like pip 
install the bit snowflake so it will take some time to download it so now dvt snowflake adapter is download you like to have like uh, do a pip list so that you understand like what are the packages installed so if you see that it installed dbt core add in or install dbt snowflake also other things are like just a dependency for those two packages okay so this like your installation is not done now let's set up our first dbt project okay so let me maximize this so there's a dbt command that that's come for initializing the project all you have to do is like dbt init okay so it will show you like the entire your dbt project so you can mention like dbt complete project and it will show like which database would you like to use okay so i'll choose like snowflake and now it will show you like what's your account so if you remember that we have got this detail so this is my account that i want to use so i'll just copy paste here it will show you like what's the user so this is my user so to connect to snowflake it has a lot of types that you want you can use so I uh, we are using password authentication because I don't want to make this very complicated setup. So you just so you enter your password. <coughs> what's the role? Role is account admin. What's the warehouse name? Warehouse name is compute database which database you want to use you want to use the database as dbt tutorial because this is something we have created okay what's the schema then we are just starting with public schema threads you can use any number of threads so this is used when you you want to have a lot of tests that you want to run in parallel so so once you complete this you'll see like it creates a profile.yml let's see that yaml file so let's see what this particular project um, project yaml file looks like so you go to a particular uh, so let me go to my c folder i'll go to users i'll go to my user then go to dbt and it creates something called as profile so if you see that it will show you the project whatever you have just entered and this is something profiles.yml is used by dbt to connect to your uh, snowflake instance this is your the, all your validations are all your setup is already done so let me go to like this project dbt complete project let me show you like how the project looks like so this is the project file that it creates it creates a lot of different folders i'll be talking about like the project structure and how does it uh, what are different folders and how we understand this project but that's something that i'll be discussing in the next video okay so as you have already configured everything let's do a testing like if you're able to connect to your dbt uh, connect to your snowflake instance from dbt so to find out like if all the setup is fine you have to do a dbt debug So it will test if you are able to connect to Snowflake instance. So if you see that it's able to all everything is fine. It's able to find your dbt uh, profiles.yml. This is something that it uses to connect to a DB, uh, Snowflake instance. And if you see that connection test is OK, all checks are passed. So with this we are able to configure all everything that is required for a project to run so first we have installed python pycharm then we have installed snowflake and now we have also initialized the first project in dbt so with this this is the end of today's video and from next video we'll we'll jump into the real stuff in dbt we'll build a lot of projects so see you in the next video